Welcome back to Who's the Best Cook? Now it's time for the final decision. Judges, meet our cooks. Everyone's food really reflected that you all love to cook. There was no doubt about that in any of the plates. They were all great. This is a contest. You're in a competition. There's one winner, but all of you in our eyes were winners. You did a very, very good job at what you've done. I would have bought any of those dishes in a restaurant, and I would have enjoyed them. Like all the dishes, to me, were just a little bit tweaking, and all the dishes were actually good. Judges, the first dish, the citrus bassanova, was cooked by Cheryl Holt. The fish was cooked perfectly on that. Thank it you. It had a lot of moisture in it. It was, it was good. The sauce was a little overwhelming just because there was so much of it. I wish she would have scaled that portion back a little bit. A little more color on the plate would have been nice. It was a little brown, varied shades of brown. <laughs> there you go, there's the <laughs> word. Um, it, it was delicious though. And to me it needed a little, a little bit more seasoning. Would have liked more seasoning. Yeah, on, on the, I was worried about there was too much salt in it when I plated it, so I'm happy to hear that it was under rather than over. You don't want to hide the flavor of the fish. You need a color, okay? Don't hide the fish all the way. Okay. Okay, show the fish off to your customer, okay? But outside, it was really good. Leo Lozano cooked the redfish espanola. On the fish that you had, you put a lot of your sauce and your vegetables over the fish, and it just hit the fish into the sauce, And uh, but it was nice. It had good flavor. Where did, where did you get the fish? Caught it yesterday at the Laguna Mata. Fresh as it gets. All natural. Out. Your fish was also cooked perfectly, which was great to see. The sauce had a lot of flavor in it. Some of the chorizo got a little bit overdone. That, and then I have to agree with Chef Jimmy that it would have been nice if the fish was sitting on top of the vegetable, maybe a little bit of the sauce over so that you get the flavor of it. But everyone has this tendency to hide the star of the dish. You're not ordering sauce with fish, you're ordering fish with sauce. You did a very good job. I enjoyed it. I love the sauce. Thank you. You know, with and without the fish. And Brenda Alfado prepared the final dish, the crab and lobster topped filet. The dish was beautifully presented. It made sense the way that it was plated. Every component of the dish was, was good, well seasoned throughout. Each item complemented the next. My steak was cooked perfectly. It was good. I really, really enjoyed it. Thank you. Uh, Presentation-wise, that uh, it was pretty. It was Thank very you. nice. You really didn't need that garnish on the plate, you know, because it was it was nice, just nicely, very, very nicely presented. Your sauce. What, what kind of sauce did you put on there? Pretty much just a uh, butter and cream and basil sauce and, More like and a, a bit of yeah, and and a little bit of onions. Just the only thing that, that to me, it, it, your sauce was breaking. Agreed. You did not lead, need the lemons or the, your floor work, you know, but they were, it was nice, it was a nice touch and, you know, one of the comments was made was to applaud the fact that you tried and you did something like that. The sauce was good, agreed though, it came to us broke. Okay, it was just very slight, but you could tell. It's time to announce the winner of the last round of Who's the Best Cook? And remember, only one will move on to the grand finale. And the winner is... Brenda Alfaro. Congratulations, Brenda. You will now move on to the grand finale with the chance to win the grand prize. So are you guys ready to make the ultimate decision of who's the best cook this year? Ready. We're ready. All We're right. ready. Good. Bring it on. Bring it on. Yeah. I felt good. You know, I came here to have fun, and uh, that's exactly what I did. Just had fun. So now i got to get back to work. <laughs> I had a really great time. I've always wanted to cook in a professional kitchen, and today I finally got a chance to do it. It was really fun. I am going to go down to do dishes because we don't get to go to Disney World. <laughs> See what I come up with next for, for next week. I think I'm the best cook. 
of the archery. We're down to three finalists, Max Moreno, Juan Guerrero, and Brenda Alfaro. Make sure you join us next week to find out who will be declared the best cook in the RGV and win a $1,000 cash prize. Do they feed you when you do this? Um, yeah. <laughs> this has my stamp of approval. Well, blah, blah, blah. One more time. Our judges have made their... <laughs> really hot. You guys ready? Are we facing the camera or facing her? Up to me.